we have learnt about uh, the angle facts in previous video so in this video we will show that how can we use those angle facts to solve the questions now here you can see that they have given a figure like that and they have said you have to find the value of p uh, always remember there is a square uh, sign here this square sign represent that angle is of 90 degree so two angles we know that third angle we can easily find out by using the fact that uh, in, uh, for uh, for a full rotation if it will be a full rotation like that starting from here and it will end up like that so the sum of all the angles will be equal to 360 degree as we have learnt in angle facts so just we will put the values take away this on in angle uh, uh, when you will write the angle you have to write a small square a small circle at the top this small circle represent this is the degree this is the degree angle so our angle will be 150 degree in this way we will solve it it's so simple if we know about the angle facts in this figure you will check we have given a right uh, triangle and in this triangle they have given uh, their two sides they are cut by single line this one and this one both are cut by a single line so if the angles are cut by one one line it represents that these two sides are equal if these two sides are of equal length always remember that their respective angles which they will make with the third side they are are they are all also of the same uh, measurement right so we know about the angle facts that uh, uh, three angles sum of three angles of a triangle that is equal to 180 degree so we will use this definition here sorry 80 degree that is equal to 180 degree so here 2a is equal to 100 degree and if we want to find the value of a so it will be 50 degree so this will be 50 degree and this will also be 50 degree always remember i will repeat it again that if on two sides one line cut two sides it represents that the length of two sides are equal if this length is three centimeter this length will also be of three centimeter if this length is six centimeter this will also be six centimeter so the cut of same cut on the two lines represent that they are of equal length and if they are of equal length then the angles made by these two lines with the horizontal axis these angles will also be of same length so this is the second angle fact we used here to solve the question now in this question we will see that the sum of three angles is equal to uh, 180 degree so you can check when I apply this definition what happened answer is a plus b but I need answer of a and b both angles so here what concept we will use because neither they have cut the lines so they are not of equal length angles are not equal so here we will use another angle fact which I have shown uh, told you earlier that we will expand this line then always remember that a line make an angle of 180 degree right if I will say this angle will be like C then a plus C should equal to 180 degree this is the angle fact that a straight line makes whatever angles they makes their sum is equal to 180 degree 
So, A plus C is equal to 180 degree. From here, you can easily find the value of C angle. How can we find the value of C angle? So, it will be equal to 180 degree minus C. So, it will give me the value of this like that. And the one fact we have learned that if the we have uh, angle of uh, like uh, so A plus C there sum is equal to 180 degree and also we have given the value of C which is 110 degree by using this definition that a straight line make an angle of there as if we have a straight line and we have two angles then the sum of two angles will equal to 180 degree by using this definition you can find the value of a which is equal to 70 degree this value of a you will put it here then you will get the value of b So, the value of B will be 70 degree. In this way, you can easily find the values. Now, they will give you different shapes, different angles. And what angle facts you have learnt before, you have to apply them by thinking which angle fact we will apply here. Right? So, it is very necessary you should know about the basic definitions which angles are making so basically these are how many facts we have learnt sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree a straight line makes two angles sum of these angles will be equal to 180 degree a rotation sum of all rotation angles will be equal to 360 degree when two lines cut each other cut each other then their rest, uh, um, vertically opposite angles they are equal these definitions can also be used in further questions sum of three and four angles of a quadrilateral which is equal to 360 degree so these are all the angle facts which can be used